It is a tremendous honor to stand before you today in representation of the 12-5 graduating class. Firstly, on behalf of the 12-5 class, we would like to thank the Honorable Mayor Rahm Emanuel and Superintendent of Police Gary McCarthy for being with us today as we celebrate this great achievement. We would also like to thank Deputy Chief Howard Loading, Commanding Officer Lieutenant Michael Piggott, and Sergeant Larry Snelling of the Education and Training Division. Your structured and sound leadership laid the foundation for a tremendous learning environment throughout the duration of our training. Next, we owe our most sincere gratitude to our homeroom instructors, including Officer Ray Barnes, who was always willing to help us whenever we asked. Most importantly, thank you to the 12-5 Charlie homeroom instructors, Officer William Lipke and Officer Brian Barsley. Since our training began, you instilled upon us knowledge, discipline, and confidence. You drew from personal experiences to give us a better understanding of classroom material. You always made yourselves available to provide extra help, and you showed us how to be leaders amongst our peers. Last, and certainly not least, thank you to our families and friends that have come today to support us. Your constant support is what gave us the motivation to pursue this career and to be successful. Your positive influence in our lives has given us the high character that a police officer must have. Six months ago, when we came together for the first time to begin our training, it was very clear that the diversity of this class would prove to be one of our greatest strengths. This class was compiled of men and women from all different types of backgrounds, including former and current members of the armed forces, former law enforcement officers, paramedics, businessmen, and teachers, among many others. We all found out rather quickly that the best way to be successful in our training was to come together and work as a team. Everyone in this class was able to contribute something beneficial to the team, be it academic skills, physical fitness abilities, or a little humor to keep the group at ease when stress was high. Together, we were able to take on the challenge that we were presented with from day one. On that first day, most of us were quite nervous and didn't really know what to expect. Most of us had no idea just what we were in store for, doing push-ups and running in our suits, fighting with our gym instructors for baton training, or getting tased, to name a few. I'm pretty sure that I speak for everyone when I say that none of us will be upset if we never hear the words front lean and rest again. I'll never forget the, get the day we got OC sprayed as part of our control tactics training. I recall our entire class looking at one another, trying to comprehend just how it was that grown men and women could make some of the noises that we made after that painful experience. And then we tried to figure out what the citizens might be thinking as they passed by the parking lot that day. As with all challenges, however, we stuck together and we moved on. For the duration of our time in the Chicago Police Academy, we received incredible training from an elite staff in crucial aspects of police work. Laws, communications, report writing, control tactics, and firearm proficiency. More importantly, we learned of just how crucial it is to earn and to maintain the trust of the people in the communities that we will serve. In classes such as police legitimacy, our instructors instilled in us that, above all, we are servants to the people of Chicago, and our relationship with them is what truly determines our success as officers. Resources such as the CAPS program strengthen this relationship. These concepts were also echoed to us by Superintendent McCarthy when he came to speak with us on one of our final days of training. Superintendent McCarthy emphasized the importance of treating people with dignity and respect. Our encounters with citizens can have a lifelong impact as to how they perceive the police. As we conclude our academy training and prepare to work in our districts, Superintendent McCarthy's words will serve as a reminder for what is expected of us every day. To my fellow classmates and now officers, I would like to say, while we have accomplished a great deal over the last six months, our learning experience is not complete. We are now joining the ranks of some of the finest officers in the world. Now is the time to seek advice from the veteran officers of our districts so that we can build off the knowledge we gained in the academy. Be proud today because you have definitely earned your star. It was not given to you. Remember also that every day you put on that uniform, you not only represent yourself, but you represent your family, your brothers and sisters in blue, and the people of this great city. Above all, stay safe. Thank you.